When I was 27 years old, I left a very demanding job in management consulting. For job, that was even more demanding, teaching. I went to teach 7th grade math in the New York City Public School. And like any teacher, I made quiz and tests. I gave a homework assignment when the work came back. calculated and graded. What struck me was that IQ was not the only difference between my best, my worst students. Some of my strongest performers did not have a terrific IQ score. Some of my smartest kids weren't doing so well. That's got me thinking. The kind of thing you needed to run in 7th grade math, sure, they are hard. Ratios, decimal, the area of a parallelogram. But these concepts are not impossible. I was firmly convinced that every one of the students could run their material if they work hard and long enough. So several few more years of teaching, I came to the conclusion what we need in education. Much is much more, much better understanding student and learning from a motivation perspective, from a psychological perspective. In education, one thing we know how to measure the best is IQ. But what if If doing so well in school and in life depends much more than your ability to run easily and quickly. So I left the classroom. I went to graduate to school to become psychologist. I started studying kids and adults all kinds of super setting challenges. In every study, my question was Who is going to be successful here and why? Who is successful here and why? My research team and I went to West Point Military Academy. We tried to predict which cadets would stay in military training and, would, and which would drop out. We went to National Spelling Bee to predict which children would advance farthest in competition. We studied rookie teacher working in really tough neighborhood, asking which teachers are still going to be here in teaching by end of the school, end of school career, and of those who will be most effective at improving learning outcome for their students. We partnered with, with private company asking which of these salary people is going to keep their job and who is going to earn the most money. In all those very different contexts, one characteristic emerged as a significant predictor of success. It wasn't social intelligence. It wasn't good look, physical health, it wasn't IQ, it was greed. Greek is passion and perseverance for the very long-term goal. Greek is having stamina. Greek is sticking with your future, day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for a year, and working really hard to make the future a reality. Greek is living life like it's a marathon, marathon, not a sprint. A few years ago, I started. I started. I studied. A few years ago, I studied studying Greek in Chicago Public School. I asked thousands of high school junior to take Greek questionnaire, and then waited around more than a year. to see who would graduate. Turn out 
that greater turn out that greater kid was significantly more likely to graduate. Even I matched even I matched them on every characteristic I could measure, things like family income, standard achievement test score, even how safe the kid felt when they were at school. It's not it's not it's it's not just it's not just that West Point military or national spelling B matter great. It's also in school. Especially for kids at risk for dropping out. To me, the most shocking thing about Greek uh, to me the most shocking thing about Greek is how little we know how science little know about beating Greek. Every day teachers and parents asked me how do I keep how do I beat the Greek how do I be the Greek in kid? What do I do to teach kids solid work ethic? How do I keep them on, how do I keep them motivated for the long run? The, uh, the honest answer is I don't know. What I do know that talent does not make you gritty. Our data show very clearly there are many talented individuals who simply do not follow through on their commitment. In fact, our data Greek is usually unrelated or inversely related to measure of talent. So far, the best idea I have heard about beating Greek is something called gross mindset. This is an idea developed at Stanford University by Carol Dweck. This is the belief that the ability to run is not fixed that it can change even your effort. Dr. Dweck has shown that about when kids run and lead about the brain and how, how it changes and grows in response to challenge. They are much more likely to preserve when they fail because they don't believe that fail is permanent condition. So, gross mindset is great idea beating Greek. But we need more. That's where I'm going to end the remarks. That's the walk. That's where we are. That's the walk. That stand before us. We need to take our best idea. We need to take strongest intuition. We need to take test them. We need to measure whether if, whether whether even whether we have been successful and fail. Whether we have been successful 
and we have to willing to be fair to wrong to start over run and lesson in the other world we need to be gritty getting our kid greater thank you